what is up guys, Holder here, welcome back to some more Pokemon Conquest. Uh, so, last time we did Yoshi Heroes, uh, which was a just Unite Ransay, uh, but we did a whole lot of one-man armies, which was a lot of fun. Uh, but today I think we're gonna finish the entire first page. I was looking through, I mean, NA, I think I mentioned at the end of last episode, probably doing NA next. But I was like, you know what, we still don't have Masamune's Warrior Transformation, which he can only do in his own story, but I don't think we have it. Uh, he is one of the missing four, uh, and I think Maguichi is alongside with him, so we don't have either of them. Um, I don't know who the other two we are missing are. I guess we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. But let's go ahead and finish page one with Nene, uh, teaching them a lesson. The story of three ninjas who bickered over their role in Rensei and what Nene decided to do about it. So this is one of the the ninja ones where only what dark, poison, and bug, I think, and then dragon are available or allowed to be used. Uh well, you know. Allowed, but we can cheat. <laughs> People with the ability to communicate with Pokemon were referred to using the title of Warrior. Among these warriors were a group mainly hailing from the kingdoms of Iperia and Yaksha, for whom the protection of their lords was the only goal. These loyal warriors were known as ninjas. One day, three such ninjas, Kotaro, Hanzo, and Kunoichi, were arguing about who among them was the most worthy. When it all became too much for one of their colleagues, a young ninja named Nene. I love Nene. Oh, not again. You can't keep arguing like this all the time. No, just give me a minute. All right, I'm back. Now, I've borrowed some nearby castles so we can settle this once and for all. So less arguing and more battling, all right? Are we really gonna do this? Huh, this will be enjoyable. All right, now, oh, ghost types, not bug. That's the one. Now, only use your poison type, ghost type, and dark type Pokemon. Just like a ninja should. And we need one more type, so dragon will do just fine. Now, we start with two castles each, and the first to get all the castles wins. I'll be taking part two, of course. All right, let's go. So I think we need to take Kotaro immediately. We need to go to Yaksha first. Um, probably. We're starting two Crobats and a Toxicroak. Um... Ooh, but, hmm. Oh. I don't like what he has. <laughs> what do we have? What are the other two Drapions? Again, this was, this was like, I it's really unique and it's very short. But just being up against only resistances, we only have poison type attacks. We have nothing else. So we can't take Yaksha because that's a steel type. Uh, we could try to take Kragspur, it's just gonna suck. But I mean, we can take as long as we want. Is there any of these that like, yeah, we can take that. I mean, we have to fight him twice. Oh, there's another steel type with Kunoichi. Does Hanzo have a steel type? Hanzo does not have a steel type. Okay. I was thinking I want Kotaro first because he has Hydreigon. And that'll just let me sweep. But, hmm. Maybe. Let's just pile, let's see, what's our 407? We can't recruit any of them on the first go anyway, so let's try Kragsburg. Just get rid of them. No steel type. It's just, let's see, the Scraggy and the Spirit Tomb are the two that, oh, and Mischievous also. Ugh. Okay, so. This will be a decent test. Oh, fuck. So if we do an eight to Mischievous, that means... Oh, I can't even get behind. 
That's Nene doing eight. I mean, this is the one that can flinch us, so sure. It is cross poison, so like the crit chance is there. I think that's, yeah, we have four cross poisons and then sludge bomb. Just all around disgusting. Uh, here. Can you? I think if you attack here. Yeah, I mean, it's five damage, it's five damage. Okay, we can't kill. I think. Okay, we can do damage to Spirit Tomb. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no, because I can't. Okay. Well, Spirit Tomb will do six damage, and then we can do another little chip to Mischievous. Oh, I should have done this one first, because... Of course, you crit the Toxicroak. Sponge also kind of required. How much? Four? Okay. Of course, you flinch me. That's why I wanted to get rid of you first. Okay, I thought fighting... Maybe it's the other way around. Poison resists fighting, not fighting resists poison. Because that's that's just regular damage. Okay, that's that's better. This mud slap, everything we have, I was like, Nene is immune to it, but everyone else is weak to it. And you resist. Yeah, that's another problem. All right, we at least poison the spirit tomb. The other two are dead. We crit Scraggy. And there's no way you're gonna mud slap through, right? You actually did. Are you gonna kill? I guess they only did that because they killed... Wow. Okay. And the poison... Okay. I mean, we take those. But... Yeah, we still have to... <sighs> Luckily, Sneasel doesn't use ice... Crit! Luckily, Sneasel doesn't use ice-type attacks. You know what? Again, we can't actually recruit anyone here. So I'm throwing a rock into it. Die. <laughs> okay. The rest should be free. The rest being just Sneasel. All right. There's the W. Uh, the Spirit Tomb. Oh, thank God. Okay, the Spirit Tomb was the one that was thrown away. Get that bulk out of here. But, I mean, I can't take out the rest of him because he has a Steel type. So we're probably gonna have to pray for a wild encounter, or I guess trainers. Uh, yeah, yeah, go to the next month. Let's see, there are people in Viperia. Two people. Okay. Hopefully, they're someone worth it, because <laughs> it's got all you've got. <laughs> all right. Well, one of them was an Ekans. I don't think I'm gonna be able to recruit because it was resisted damage. No matter what I brought, I mean, I did a 1v1. Uh, we got an Axu dude who is, I mean, okay, your best is Bastiodon. Staraptor might be honestly way better to use, but it's something. I'm running up on Kunoichi while I have, you know, a month to do so. Uh, and to get Valora out of here. Um, she only has three Mons here. One of them, unfortunately, is, I was gonna say a Mudkip. <laughs> Mud Slap, uh, Sand Dial. So that's really the only threat, but it's Valora. We can't recruit her anyway. Let's hope she just gets blown away. Okay. I think we're good. I reached it. It's dead. It did have Intimidate making things even worse. 
Um, but having a Crobat means I had at least one person immune. Uh, one more down. But I am intimidated, so we're not gonna do a whole lot. Unless one of them is poisoned. They're not gonna die. And then one health. That's... Oh, one of the Kunoichi. You can't do anything about it. I'm gonna almost die there. But these are the last two. So, there's death. And there's death. Alright, so one of Kunoichi's kingdoms is now ours. A nice boost there. And they all retreat to Dragnor. Okay, next month. Okay, two trainers popped up in Cragspur. Now these two, I looked, it's Glalie and Rhyperior. I mean, those are things that can hit a steel type. And on both sides, we have a steel type. <laughs> Totoro and Kunoichi. Now, getting a Glalie would help against Kotaro. Uh, it would be a rando ice type, so it wouldn't let us, you know, recruit. But also would help against the Sand Dials. So I think it's probably worth our time to go and snag. Um, and then maybe I'll attack Hanzo. So Hanzo and Kunoichi are both down to one. And then Kotaro, of course, is down to one. Might be cutting things a bit too close when it comes to invasions, which starts in May. It's only March, so we've have we have a little bit of time. There's one other trainer here in Avia, but it's Yoshi, so it's gonna turn into. I mean, one it resists, so it's gonna be hard to recruit. But it's another Crobat, so as much as Crobat is helpful. Oh wait, Valora. I don't think I checked. Ooh. Who is that? Valora, I didn't even notice Valora had someone. Uh, Kazumasa, I think. Oh, is that uh, Kazumasa? Oh, it's a Bastiodon. I don't want it. <laughs> no thanks. I'm good. All right, Cragsburg. All right, the Rhyperior has a B drill if I really want that. And then Tsunamoto, uh, no, I, I definitely want Glalie, I think. Yeah, Ice Beam, I definitely want your Glalie out front. I did switch the Bastiodon, uh, Bastiodon dude over to a um, Staraptor just because it's way better. <laughs> uh, he has a perfect length and that's all that really matters to me. But I think I am going to push Hanzo out of Spectra. Okay. He is extremely weak over here. We do 84 damage to the Dratini. Granted, the Dratini only had 10 health max, so it was already not looking good. <laughs> the uh, the Duskull got paralyzed by the, the random flames, so that's helpful. Gotta get fully parried, and Litwick is just kind of walking around randomly. Okay. Of course, we get burned. God damn it. Well... How's our damage now? Eh, we can still one-shot as long as we don't low roll. Or oh, crits work too. <laughs> I appreciate that. And then don't low roll. There we go. Okay, we pushed them out of Spectra. A nice buff to these boys. And uh, now we have Nick Storm. Uh, Dragnor and Yaksha as our final three destinations. Oh no. Why? Why did you have to? Oh fuck. How strong? This was just made so much worse. Okay. Not too bad. It wasn't like shooting up to a thousand. It's 553. Okay. Well. At this point, depending on who's around, mm, that's probably go with the sand dial, which would give me a uh, Empoleon. 
Okay. Oh, who's here? Oh. It's very tempting. But it's another month spent to do so with Nene. There's three dudes there. I'll resist. I think my best bet is to just get the boys back together and take Yaksha. Okay, energy's not looking the greatest, but we're here. Uh, minus one Drapion. I, I brought two Crobats. Uh, I really didn't want to deal with Rhyperior accuracy. We'll see if that was a mistake, but we have a Staraptor and we have a Glalie. Hoping that should serve as decent enough. We are all, I think, strong enough that we don't have to fear. I mean, Dragon Rage plus something else is scary. But Dragon Rage itself it should no longer one-shot. Yeah, no one will die to that. Twelve. Mr. Raptor. Definitely, okay. What about against... Yeah. Yeah, 27. Okay, that's that's pretty good against that, because that honestly is the main threat here. 14. Okay, Toxcrope. Do you have range? Okay, the draft round we brought is high places. That doesn't really do anything for me. Nene Nimpo, Sadayu, range. Tsunamoto raises attack. Oh, raises its own attack for three turns. Um, I will go ahead and attack here. I want to get things set up. I mean, we're going to kill, so it doesn't really matter. I'm using the store after to, to kill it. So I guess I didn't need to do that at all, but... I mean, I wanted Glalie there anyway. Okay, let's just do, do some damage here. It's gonna get a field day. Uh, wait, it doesn't resist. Neither of them. I'm gonna Nene Nimpo. I really don't wanna take a Dragon Rage. And we might crit. Uh, we could do it again from this side. Hit the same two. If we crit, he dies. Okay. I was like, I really hope we don't crit. Because then we won't be able to recruit him. We sponge a little bit more. Ooh. Now, it is that time in Yaksha. Double miss. Someone's gonna get whisked away. And I really hope it's one of them. And not Nene. Or Kotaro, really. Anyone else is fine. That's, again, it's, I mean, it's fine, but like, also, fuck. <laughs> of all, of all things. Alright. Well, Nene... We kill Kotaro, and it's fast enough- wow, with the crit. It's fast enough that he will join us regardless of the outcome. And that's all I really cared about, so... I'll see you whenever we hit that W. Oh my god! Present number two threw him across the stage. It's- of course, the Steel Type's the last one I have left. Galele and Staraptor are the only things that can damage it, and Staraptor barely touches it because it's resisted. Fuck. Don't, I swear, if this map stalls me out. Oh, we can sponge it! Mm -hmm. Stop it! The map is gonna ruin this for me. The map is actually gonna ruin everything. All right, this should be the last turn, regardless of what happens. It's turn 13. Someone else is probably gonna get whisked away, right? I think it's every two turns. Oh wait, no, okay, we're good. Staraptor, 10 damage, unless you get an extreme low roll. I 
can't risk that with parry on the on the table. I can't risk ice beaming my own Staraptor. At this point, sp or <laughs> like Sponge is gonna kill. So I don't think that yeah we can't lose because of Sponge, unless Sponge can't kill. Who's getting thrown away? Okay, that's fine. Drapion doesn't do anything. Die. This scenario gets me so fucking tilted because of this lack of damage. We didn't get the sand die because it died to poison. We got three others. Kotaro, most importantly. So we have Dragon Pulse. Uh, we have a Steelix. And then two more things that join the Resistance gang. Uh, but a Steelix. That's something, at least. Okay, so the Sand Dial I didn't recruit. It wasn't Go anyway. Uh, it was Suru. I don't know what mon she had. But we have a Dragonite. Hell yeah. And we got that Dragonite just in time for the old man to show up. All right. Two kingdoms. That's all we got left. All right, we're taking Kunoichi first. Get rid of the other Steel type. I don't want it to get any stronger. And if we're able to recruit her, I mean, we get a Weavile, which, eh, sure, Weavile's good in this scenario, eh? I mean, ghost types exist, so it would be potentially something nice against Hanzo. The Hanzo, as an enemy, has a Spear Tomb. Be neutral, at least. Okay, um, Kunoichi didn't move. I don't think we're actually gonna be able to recruit her. Considering she's so far away, unfortunately. But, there goes the Aksu. Don't have to worry about taking a 40 damage chunk. And then... I wanna do that. Let me do this first. I don't want to take the electric totem. Attacking the sand dial. As much as I want the sand dial down, they're going to get hit by the water totem. 21. Ow. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dragonite. Okay. As long as we don't miss, which we do. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? Lily. Okay. And then Steelix. Gonna hit our own Dragonite with this, probably. But we crit! Okay. And we're immune to that. We're gonna come over here. Okay. All the flyers and... Well, who's gonna get Mutts? It's probably gonna be Steelix and Glalie getting Mutts left right now. Insurance, you have parry. Of course you do. Fuck you. I'm already mad at this pawnee herd. <laughs> mm hmm. And there's Kunoichi. Again, like not moving. Damn it. Well, we're not getting her. Alright, well, Dragonite died. Dragonite missed. And then I killed it with Iron Tail. I, it's being fucking worthless. But the Sand Isle's dead, thanks to Glalie. We got hit with Mudslap, but it didn't end up mattering, thank God. We did crit her. I guess you don't look like a person, bad person to work for, I guess. Maybe we will be getting her. Okay. There was a comment that mentioned there's like a, a lesser talked about if you don't take any damage. And I guess that's not the entire team not taking damage, I guess it's the Warlord themselves not taking any damage. That counts. Because that right there is the first thing of damage Nene had taken. So I guess, same with Kotaro. So Warlords, as far as they're concerned, we should be getting Kunoichi because of that. Yeah! Okay, and we got 
Everyone else except for the Pawneer. I mean, fuck the Pawneer, to be honest. But... Let's see. A Weavile, Bisharp, Infernate. There we go. Semi-Seer, Gothitelle, eh. But there we go. There's the cheating I wanted. <laughs> now we're fucking talking. I'm gonna put them in uh, Spectra and hope they are strong enough to not get invaded. All right. We are about double Hanzo. Uh, there are a lot of flying and levitating Mons here, so the ice not gonna take too much effect, I think. Yeah, he has three levitators. I have two flying. You know, I have a flying, a levitate, and then an ice. Two ice types, actually. How about Glalie? Um, so. We're not gonna get there that fast. Uh, well, actually, um, no, you know, we're not gonna have the slide in and just demolish, but. A good start. Taking down one Zubat there. Uh, Dragon Pulse, the other Zubat. Oh my. Delete the other Zubat there. Deleted it so big that it, uh... So big, so good. The... The pause is just so weird to me. The game has to figure out what the hell just happened. Alright, Infernape. Gonna ride the ice block over. Four more. Uh, of course, Hanzo is gonna be the hardest to kill. Being a 53 HP Spirit Tomb with no weakness, you know. Shraggy's gonna be free at 8%. These two might also be free. Oh, it got rid of that for me. That might have actually sped along the process. Let's see, in Sasuke. Let me see something. Oh. Sasuke's damage, not, not ideal. Uh, what is this looking like? Looking like death to me. With the, okay, you didn't need to, that was the one you were gonna kill. If you were gonna crit anything, crit the ghost. I guess you did crit a ghost. The other ghost. Let's see, 12 damage. Ah. Oh. All right, and Weavile, finishing the job. Uh, we can get behind you with Nene. You know what, let's just take everything else out of the equation. Hanzo is the only thing left. Uh, and then we can go ahead and do that. I have to worry about attacking Nene with fire spin and get a little bit of chip. Okay, got four attacks, sure. No. Oh, well. I guess Steelix, whatever. Steelix is out of the equation. It was either going all the way to the left or on the ice. Inference on Nene of all people, that's fine. Nene's already the fastest one. So, and we, yeah. We're still dodging. Uh, Sasuke. Another round of chip. 20 HP left. So, oh, there we go. As long as we don't low roll, we high roll. Oh. We won, would you believe it? This one, I was excited, it's like, hey, it's Nene, finally, but fuck. This scenario is just aggravation. The scenario. There's a wall rain in there, and that was really the only... I don't know why I, I decided to recruit all of them. I just gotta shove them somewhere. Uh, just... I'll get dropped in Dragnor. Come on, there we go. Alright, I won fair and square, so you can all listen to me. You've gotta stop arguing. We're all good people deep down, right? Why can't we just be friends? Hmm... <laughs> Oh, quaint. Quiet, you. No more backtalk. We're all going to get along, okay? 
And so, oh, there we go. And so the ninja conflict drew to a close. Nene was the victim. But whether the other three actually became friends is another story altogether, of course. Yeah, they're just like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be at peace for now until she leaves and then we can beat each other's ass again. All right. But another one down. We'll see if that unlocks any of the remaining four. I don't think she had, well, Hanzo. We have Hanzo's open yet? Nope, nothing new unlocked. But that is the entirety of page one cleared. So hell yeah. Uh, I might go look, oh yeah, Hanzo's right there. Um, I might go look into what unlocks Masamune, just because he's one of the warriors we still need to warrior transform. Um, and he will probably unlock Magoichi, unless Magoichi unlocks him, so we have to figure out who to unlock first. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.